Hi guys, Arabella here. Welcome back. I hope you're living your best life today. And um, we are going to just get right into this and we're going to talk about writing like really difficult topics. So because of YouTube, it's not going to let me say exactly what I'm talking about, but you can use your imagination here. You know, there are just unfortunately things in our world that happen and they're not the greatest things they're actually awful and they're traumatic and um, a lot of the times they're just not talked about and so as a writer as a person with a voice I think that all of us at some point have to ask ourselves am I going to speak of these things or am I not going to speak of these things and um, either one not one is better or worse than the other, okay? So don't feel like if you're leaning one way or the other that there's anything wrong with either way. It's just, I thought it was a unique thing to kind of talk about, so that's what we're gonna talk about today. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the positive side of this. So um, to really get right on it, I mean, one of the biggest pros of speaking about these things is that you're really shining a light on these types of issues. Most of them are surrounded in shame um, and people feel that shame on a massive level. And speaking about it somehow doesn't make it as scary. Like, you know, when we were kids and we thought that there was something in the closet and all our parents had to do was just turn the light on and like we, we realized that it was it wasn't a monster it was fine it was nothing and i think a lot of these things are a lot like that um and to be the person that steps out from the crowd and says no i'm going to talk about this in my fiction in whatever you know it is that you do i think that's so important um which is why it's number one um my second one is that those who are suffering from these things, who have trauma and PTSD from these things, you're showing them that somebody else cares, that someone else is going to talk about it. You know, that they're not alone in their suffering, in their, in, in the issues that come with this type of stuff. I mean, a lot of the times it's lifelong, um, traumas that people have to deal with, you know, and it's very isolating and knowing that somebody else who may or may not have dealt with the same thing, you know, is at least bringing some awareness to it. I find that very comforting. Um, it's, it's bringing a spotlight to it. It's, by doing so, you're saying, hey, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to give these people a voice, this situation a voice, this thing a voice where it otherwise just wouldn't have one. I think that's really great. And I think that's something we should do um, more often. Um, something that is more on like the writing aspect of things is that when you're writing fiction and you write these really deep, traumatic things, these events, it's really going to impact your characters, those of who you write these traumas around. Like, this gives you a lot of, I want to say content, but it gives you a lot to draw from with your characters, and it's in the most realist of ways. It's not in a contrite way where something dumb happens and they act like, you know, the world is ending. It's real. That response is real. It's justified. And that's really powerful when you're crafting character arcs. I mean, that's what readers want to see. They want the realness. Um, I believe anyway. Um, and like, that's so relatable. Like, imagine that you're writing a character who something happened really terrible in their childhood that they can't even barely speak of. And there's some child somewhere in the world who's going through that right now. Like, that's incredible. And I think that that holds power. Um, and so it's super relatable and you really, that's huge when crafting characters. Um, and my last point on the pro side is that 
this shit happens, you know, back to my intro, like, this is the world we live in, right? You know, I don't think that you have to be a sufferer of these things to to do justice for it. There is due diligence and research and plenty of um, resources for someone who has never gone through this to at least shine a light on it. You don't have to be a victim of it. And it's not profiting off of it. It's it's doing a good thing. Uh, so that's kind of my main list for the pros of it. So now we're going to kind of flip sides and talk about the negative, you know, aspects of it. And my number one on that list is people getting pissed off at you for doing it or getting triggered for doing it. So those are two different things. You know, there are people who say, well, you're benefiting off of these traumas. How could you do that? And that is a perception issue, like not a issue of character or I don't know. I just, I don't, I've never gotten that argument. Um, I know there was an author somewhere. She was a big debut and she was writing about something that she didn't directly correspond to and she got just like railed in on Twitter like it cut her book off like it was and I thought it was ridiculous like I don't understand um I think if you have good intentions in your heart and you're using it to bring awareness and to shine a light on things that are typically like slam shut in the dark your intentions are good then I think it's a good thing but other people don't think that way and then on the triggering aspect you know you very well could trigger some readers that that is a con that is something to to be sensitive about um and that is going to be something i would definitely consider and have in mind when writing these type of things and just be sensitive to that okay um okay yeah so my second point is like being attacked for profiting off of people's pain that happens um but i don't think it's as common as it really is i think it happens a lot less really in real life it's just on the internet things are just blown up to, out of proportions and i don't know it it can happen though so that's something that you're going to want to watch for um and you could become a controversial author, depending on what you write, what genre you're in, if it's explicit. Okay, so if you want to be one of those like under the radar authors who just has a smooth career and no one's really going to be talking about you, um, you might not want to do this. You might not want to risk it. And there's nothing wrong with that. God, being famous I hear is terrible. Uh, so... I think that it's really something to consider that, you know, the topic that you choose could get get you talked about in either a good or a bad way. Who knows? It just really depends on a lot of factors. Um, but we have to kind of go over these things when we're dealing with these sensitive topics. Um, and okay, so and I say this not knowing for sure, but this is just something I thought about, is that it could limit your um, plans or path of traditional publishing. So again, depending on genre, depending on the category, are you writing adult or are you writing YA? That's gonna be a big difference. Um, but depending on all of that you're and what you're writing about obviously and the sensitive topic in which you're talking about that could limit your traditional publishing dreams or route or whatever you know sometimes we think that there's this perfect path for us and we want that path and if something interferes and bonks us off of it we're like nope i won't do it and if that's you don't <laughs> just maybe just keep the topic set just like a, a low simmer um and don't branch out to something that's really going to be uh, controversial in any way. <laughs> um, but you know, self-publishing is always a thing. It is not a bad thing. It is not an alternative choice. It is a valid AF way to get your book published, okay? Um, and my last point, you might just have to choose to write adult. 
that's just what it is. That's not a bad thing. Um, like me, I love my YA, but you know, I uh, if I had to, I would write adult. It's not my main squeeze, but you know, it just ugh, it depends. And the market too. There's so much that is a factor here. But like I was saying in my point beforehand. Um, you might just have to write adult because some of these things that I'm, you know, talking of, talking about, they are not for kids. Um, though they may happen to children, which is sick and unfortunate and makes me want to fucking kill these people. Um, I'm not <laughs> advocating anything. <laughs> um, no violence here, just educational, right? Um, it's... These things can sometimes only be spoken about to an adult audience. It just is what it is. It's the world that we live in, unfortunately. Um, so if this is something that you're passionate about, if this if you have a topic or something that you're really passionate about, I would suggest um, to maybe do adult. And that's, that. you know, that might already be your game plan. It just... If you want to do YA or middle grade, I would be very careful um, on what you're wanting to write about. Um, so that is my little list about the pros and cons of writing uh, difficult topics. Um, if you have anything to add to these lists, I would love to hear it in the comments. Um, and what do you think? You let me know. Um, give this a like and a share. And don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell. Um, and what do you think of the new background? Um, I'm kind of like bending over, so I'm not sure. I have to get my little tripods figured out with my new schedule. But I love the red wall. Um, I might do it next to my Christmas tree next time because it's so bomb. So um, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. And um, I will see you on the next one. Okay, bye.